I'm being frozen. Hello, I'm Brian Stewart for This Is Infamous reporting from my living room because this is where all the action is happening. Right on my TV, I have the new PlayStation 4 and I'm here to tell you if the camera, the PlayStation Eye update is really worth the money or if it's just sort of a luxury that you can bypass for now. As you can see with my friend Asobi here, if I can make him do something, there he is. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Uh, he's always sad because I'm not playing with him. But as you can see, uh, there's, there's some things that you can do that are kind of novel and fun. And if you have a family like I do and you have a little daughter, uh, yeah, it's totally worth it. <laughs> really, the people who are going to get the most out of the PlayStation Eye at this point are the ones who are going straight to Ustream and Twitch and broadcasting their gameplay because it's going to put their face in the corner and they can be minor Twitch Ustream celebrities. That's, that's sort of what it's for right now. There's not even video chat capabilities on the PlayStation 4 at this time. Uh, they don't have Skype. The Playroom is just sort of a distraction and a tech demo at this point. There's only really three things you can do. You can do air hockey, you can do the AR robots, and you can play with Asobi. And, and those things are fun that you can take it out and show it off at a party, but it's not something that's gonna like really justify the $60 purchase, unless you're a loving father and you wanna see your child smile like that. What you need to do is consider this an investment in the future of the tech. And I think that's what PlayStation is looking at it as too. Uh, they removed it from the box, uh, which sort of sent a message to the developers like, don't, uh, don't spend your time here yet. We need you to get those 900p to 1080p and we need you to get your anti-aliasing in order. Like the message was clear. I think that a lot of the developers weren't ready for the next gen quite yet. You know, they weren't quite ready for PlayStation 4. So I'm thinking that the PlayStation Eye is part of a longer game plan that they have, but they really can't show it to you yet. And I think that if you buy one, you'll have fun with this stuff. You'll have fun signing in because it feels like the future, even though we had that last generation. Um, but you don't need it yet. The only thing you need is to sort of look to the future and see that they're, the Double Fine is making DLC for the Playroom, and that could change the whole thing. It could make it as fun as the Kinect stuff they did, which was a modern miracle. I mean, they took that tech and they made it into more of a toy, which was absolutely the right thing to do. And I think that a lot of parents responded to that. Um, a lot of the Kinect stuff just didn't work and uh, their stuff mostly works, so I'm kind of excited to see what they do with it. And I think it's telling that PlayStation, uh, that Sony, not PlayStation, that Sony showed off some of the ideas and the, the sort of optimism behind the system and behind this camera at their launch event uh, coverage. You know, uh, that video in which they showed the research and development team sort of playing around with the idea of eye tracking, all of that is super exciting. It's not here yet, you don't need it yet, but if you get it, it's kind of cool because it feels more fully together, complete. Anyway, I should get back to playing with Asobi because he is super depressed. And I think he may just like f burn his own head off this time. This is Brian Stewart reporting for This is Infamous.